Please welcome Bob Odenkirk. Wow, holy cow, holy cow. I can't believe I'm here. How's everybody, good? All right, I wrote something. <clears throat> I'm very excited to be here today. I heard that uh, Los Angeles was pouring fresh cement, fixing the sidewalk, I assumed. And I wanted to be there to see it for myself. True cause for celebration. Now I'm being told someone is gonna immediately put their hands and feet in it. You can't have nothing nice, can you? Like everyone in America with a sense of humor, I love Carol Burnett. I was born in 1962. I was lucky that my parents liked comedy. Even my mother, who didn't have much use for entertainment and really only had seen about 10 films in her life, seven of those being viewings of The Song of Bernadette. Anybody? She was Catholic with a capital every letter. But my parents loved The Carol Burnett Show, and so did all seven Odenkirk kids. It was important to me, that show, important. As funny as it was, the greatest thing was the laughter and the warmth between the cast. Harvey, Vicky, Tim, all the guests. I couldn't believe I was watching adults being funny and silly and genuinely happy to be around each other. Boy, I needed that. Laughs and good feelings pouring out of the TV. Carol's natural smarts, silliness, warmth, was at the core, the flame at the core of that show. When we were making Better Call Saul, we heard Carol was a fan. She mentioned it in some interviews. Amazing, I told my mom, and it was finally something that landed for her that maybe I might one day make it in showbiz. I'm still working on it. <laughs> Carol joined Better Call Saul to play an absolutely pivotal character, the humble Marion, who was overwhelmed by Saul's charming, fast-talking cleverness. And Marion is the one who wises up and turns Saul's world inside out. Carol, you were heartbreaking and funny and powerful in that role. I loved working with you. It was an honor. You're a king of comedy and drama and your film work has been outstanding, covering so much range, Annie, The Four Seasons, Noises Off, The Front Page, and so many more, always perfect. You're a movie star, a TV star, a stage star, and the reason you're a star is that your range is incredible, but you always brought your soul to every performance and you shared yourself, so we feel we know you, even when you're deep in character, just like your childhood heroes everywhere around here, where you used to roller skate when you were a kid living down the street. So thank you so much for having me, and I hope that you'll leave a little of your DNA in this cement, and maybe Elon Musk can make us a thousand Carol Burnett's in a few years. Thanks.